with things. Sorry. Children, that's what it's called, Michelle. Yeah. yeah. Little I'm disease vectors. Um, so anyway, there's a new type. There's the issue. And I've got the sort of summary at the top of it, but basically it just provides a new type of identifier that lets me control stuff that's Arcto's talking to itself. Um, it's pretty simple. There's nothing much new. Um, there it is in action. Um, it's got some magic hooked on to it. So this one, the legacy data was basically provided with a different uh, issued by and Arctos has magicked it. Um, this one, there was no metadata provided at all. So Arctos figured out um, essentially how to turn a triplet into a GUID and figured out who can issue that particular identifier. Um, there's some error handling. So I tried to create this type with a value that doesn't make sense and I got a nice error. Um, okay, so if you put in the cor correct one, oh, sorry, you're gonna show that. Yeah, and there's a, a, it looks like it might be correct, but it's not, so I still get an error. Um, I tried to use an Arctos record GUID as a different type, got an error. So it's pretty tightly controlled. Um, and that's about it. Sh show um, us what it should look like. Give us a green screen. That's where I started that. So that's ideal. Right. But um, in, in, in the data, data entry. In data entry. Yep. I'll get there. Okay. Um, and the other thing I did, Mary, you got a question? Uh, go ahead and finish and I'll ask. Uh, uh, so the other thing I did is now that I've got uh, much tighter types to link Arctos records, I redid the poll thing. So I just typed some random thing in there. Um, and this will now deal with basically anything, GUIDs, triplets, catalog numbers, identifiers. Um, and I've got a bunch of stuff checked and selected. So I can just use that and it will give me, well, this is test. So it's not quite what you're going to see in production but a fully a, enough to figure out what I'm talking about and get a, the correct type, an unambiguous within Arctos value that will be converted to an unambiguous global value when the record is actually created. And then it leaves this stuff alone because that's already built into the magic. Oh, and okay. that's basically it. That's nice. So you could put in just the catalog number or the catalog number, the whole triple, and it'll and if you pull it, it'll pull it in the correct one. The full yeah, one. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you do that, it should, and you could save with that, and it would be perfectly happy because if I, the type tells me I can try to prefix that with the, mm -hmm. uh, good base basically, and it'll figure it out. But yeah, if I do that, then it'll it'll find one record, and I can just use it. Wait. That's really cool. Yeah, I need to see that. So we just need to tell people that if they're trying to do it, it's just use pull if if possible, then you don't have to worry about um, typing in the correct URL. Yeah, that would be my take home. Just don't type. Either find the record and copy and paste it or use the pull or tell me Select why you're it. typing and I'll find a way that you don't have to type. Just don't type identifiers ever. 